Okay, this is Trudy Adams, I'm Miss Annie, and we're working on the feeling she needs for her leg yield. So here what she's doing is she's getting Annie against her left leg and rein. Yeah, you feel how definite that is? Okay, now have her leg yield to your other rein and leg. Have her go against your right rein and leg. She'll be positioned slightly where? Good. And now push her against your right rein and leg, Praiser. Tell me when you feel her connecting to it. Or she's maybe a little bit too bent to the inside. That's right, because all you have to do, that's it. It's remember, all you have to do is straight neck for the leg yield. She could be softer in her jaw. Which rein is she against? She's against the outside rein. Good, that's switch right. it. She is a little hard in it. That's right, then that's you have better. to that's better. That's better. That's right, keep her softer. Good, good. Now leg yield her back in. So you're gonna position her to the outside, have her step against your left rein and leg and feel like she picks up your left seat bone. So we're using a circle to define what she's feeling. And Annie's more focused on where the other horse went that was riding with her. Good. Oh, I know. He gets <laughs> bows up there, bow just got turned out. That's it. You feel, yeah? Keep her between one rein and leg or the other. That's good. Good. That's it. Now do a bigger circle and try it at the trot. And you're just going to keep changing. You're going to either leg yield her in or out on the circle just to get the feeling. Okay, which rein and leg is she on? It's all right. Good, good. All you have to do is be aware of it. She said neither. And this will help riders learn to, how to keep a horse against whichever rein or leg they're using. It's all right. Put her against whatever. Yep. Yeah. Which one is? Outside rein and leg. Leg yield her. Good. Now switch directions and let me see if I can see the difference. Leg yield her the other way. That's right. Remember that rein needs to curve on her neck. Remember how I showed you to curve? There, there. Feel what you changed? Good. Leg yield her the other way so I can see it with her neck. So I'm looking for the rein to wrap around her neck as she's... That's good. Do you feel the difference in how she's carrying you? Okay, now you're going to come out of the circle in whatever leg yield you're doing and go like six steps leg yield across the diagonal. Which rein is she on? Outside. Have her leg yield more. Keep her on that outside rein. That's it. Go back into a circle. Come out of the circle in a leg yield. Because now you know what it feels like. Yes, you can change directions each time you come across. So one way you're going to leg yield one way, the other way, the other way. Just make sure that she's on that outside rein and leg now. Shorten your reins because you're teaching her how to take the support from your reins. Okay, now what rein is she against? Yeah, left? Kind of, no, she's sort of not wanting to be on the outside rein, but that's now she is. Good, good. Keep her on it and then do a couple steps leg yield. Just one circle into a real leg yield. Now see if she'll do a leg yield from the circle. Staying on that outside rein and leg. Start a leg yield right there. You can go to the outside. There! Feel the difference? You felt that, didn't you? Now do you want me to in the other yep, now you can go the other direction. Take your time. This is, uh, we've done it maybe eight times. I'm not sure how many times we've actually asked Annie in lessons to stay connected between the rein and legs, so this is new for her. Good, hold that outside rein. She's gotta be, her neck needs to be against the outside rein. Yep, and then try a couple steps of leg yield now. Keep her on that same rein and leg. That's right. Now push her over sideways in a leg yield. Praise her! She's picking you up different, isn't she? That's it, so each time, you're, we're gonna do a couple more times. Just a couple steps, ask her to leg yield on the circle, and then find yourself in open space, and ask her to do ste you know, six steps straight. Just two more times. Praise her a lot. Make a big to-do of this. This is a big deal, because she's doing her leg yield different for you. Make a big to-do about it. Praise her a lot. Show her a couple steps leg yield. Yep. Yep, now go sideways for a couple steps leg yield. Keep her on that rein, keep her on the rein, keep her on the rein, keep her on the rein. Keep her on the rein. Good, 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 good. That's it. <laughs> good, good. One more time. Change directions. Do you feel how she's balancing different between your rein and legs? She's complaining. Oh, yes. I'm sure she is. She's all by herself. Poor thing. 
Okay, which rein and leg is she against? Outside. All right, now keep her on that outside rein and leg and you're gonna leg yield her to the right. Keep your right hand down. Keep your right hand down so her nose stays down. Good. Do you feel her picking you up different? Good. Okay, stretchy trot with a leg yieldy feeling. She can go around the whole ring. Nice, brisk trot. That's it. Stretchy trot with a leg yield. Good. Praise her. Do you feel her responding different from her back end? Just a couple more. You can change directions if you want. Okay. Okay. You're tired. We'll stop then. Very nice.